What's going on guys? It's time to talk about another Universal Classic Monsters film review. Well, uh, this one's more of a classic horror comedy. <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to talk about Abbott Costello Meet the Mummy. Um, it was released by Universal June 23rd, 1955. And it was produced by Howard Christie, written by John Grant, and directed by Charles Lamont, who's also done Abbott and Costello Meet Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Abbott and Costello Meet the Invisible Man, Abbott and Costello uh, Meet, or Abbott and Costello Go to Mars, and Abbott and Costello Meet the Keystone Cops. He's also done other films, though, besides those. And it's like Me and Pa Kettle, uh, Baby Burlesque, and War Babies, to name a few. So, yeah, it's had a budget of 726 just over seven, just around seven hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars, which was pretty substantial back then. But this is coming off the heels of the Abbott Stell meets Frank's Night, which was a big success. So they continued on with it with the this one, and um, yeah, and also Abbott Stell meet the Mummy, but um, or meet the Invisible Man, sorry. Uh, but yeah, so Abbott Stell meet the Mummy. So Abbott Stell, if you're not sure who they are, they're a comedian. A popular comedian group back duo back in the 40s uh there was like laurel and hardy before them then there's them and then the three stooges came on and <laughs> blew everyone away that way and it just continued on stuff like that continued on that's how comedy worked back then a lot of slapstick humor and a lot of uh crazy little bickering and funny little uh skirmishes i guess you say like that happen in these films so uh, yeah, but uh, the way the story goes is Abbott and Costello are um, uh, managed to convince someone to guard a t the tomb and be able, like, to guard a mummy's tomb. And uh, a lot of crazy things ensue um, to the point where some worshippers of, like, the mummy... Uh, try to get a medallion and bring him back to life and let them let their help someone <laughs> this one has quite a lot of funny slapstick gags in it and it's by far one of the more entertaining ones i found besides frankenstein uh, besides the when they met frankenstein this one is actually a really good one too you don't really see the mummy till like the very end but um just the way they uh cope with like pe <laughs> the people like they're trying to get their to like, guard the mummy and stuff like that it is hilarious and um uh, yeah and them trying to sell themselves and things like that they're pretty ter terrible at it and there's a lot of funny scenes like uh playing uh the flute and the snake comes out that's so simple but effective gags and stuff like that which uh, some of it still holds up some of it's a little cheesy and hokey and stuff like that nowadays but yeah it's still quite entertaining <laughs> it's just a like if you have a rainy afternoon and have nothing to do this is something to throw on just enjoy it it's uh a lot of fun it's a little different than comedies nowadays it's a little more serious tone and then it goes into some quirky moments and things like that and it uh, kind of goes on a roller coaster ride like that which majority of these types of films are like that so yeah i wasn't too surprised of, of like coming into that so um yeah but overall this film is definitely an enjoyable one so uh there's not much really to complain about besides some of the gags can be cheesy and stuff but for the most part, I still really enjoyed it. I'm giving this one a four and a half out of five. You should definitely check it out, especially if you like like having still meet Frankenstein. This one is definitely by far one of the funnier ones of the Epping Style films. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> um there's a trailer link down below if it sounds like something you're interested in, like always. Also link down below is my screen where I was supposed to go up to the films I'm gonna be in the future on my story. And uh, I usually have the film title hashtag and subject on film that hashtag so you're aware of it. Um, like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. Also, if you have any films that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, see if I'll try my best to, I'll try my best <laughs> to find them. That's if I can find them. Or, yeah, whatnot. So, yeah, comment them down below. 
And uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite monster film is too. Uh, Universal classic monster film is too. Um, yeah, but that's it for this one. Uh, yeah, we're done the mummy films, and I think it's time to move on to the Invisible Man. Uh, so make sure you turn on your notifications uh, because that's probably going to be the next review coming up. And uh, yeah, also make sure you subscribe because hopefully we'll find something weird, obscure, and odd together that you probably never thought of checking out or so you hear my opinions on popular films and classic films like this one. So, so yeah, but definitely check out this film if you haven't seen it. It is really funny and definitely worth the time. So till then, um, till the next one, watch out for all those stooges chasing after mummies and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. So cheers.